Pirates hosting the Brewers, and the Brewers are minus 120 on the money line. The Pirates are plus 102. The over-under is seven runs. The Brewers, laying a run and a half on the run line, are plus 138, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Pirates, getting a run and a half on the run line, are minus 166, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They'd lose the game by one run, you would win. Now, the weather for tomorrow's day in Pittsburgh is supposed to be 52 degrees with six mile an hour winds blowing from left to right. So in my opinion, that's like perfect weather to go outside and play baseball or kind of just do anything because it's not unbearably hot. Now, Peralta pitched three times against the Pirates last year. Five and a third, three runs, three earned. They lost five, four. He struck out four. Five and a third, three runs, three earned. They lost eight to seven. He struck out eight. And then six innings, two runs, two earned. They won five, two, and he struck out nine. Not to be outdone, Keller pitched against the Brewers twice last year. Five innings, eight runs, eight earned. They lost 14-1, to one and he struck out five. And then five innings, four runs, four earned. They lost five nothing, and he struck out seven. So immediately you see their names, you see their ERAs for their teams, and you think this should be a pitcher's duel. And then you hear the stats of how they've done against the opposing team, and it's just like, oh, Jesus. The Pirates are 6-4 and four against the Brewers in their last 10. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorites won the last three games. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. The last two that they've played against each other. The under is 6-4 and four and the under 7 is 6-4. and four. Now, of the games that these pitchers have pitched combined, there was five of them last year. Only two of them went under. So it's, it's interesting to see. The Brewers are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The under has hit in their last four games. Two runs, six runs, three runs, five runs. Two runs and a win, two runs and a loss, one run and a loss, three runs in a win. For the Pirates, they are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. The under is 6-4 in their last 10, and the under has hit in their last five games. Seven runs, six runs, three runs, and then five runs. One run and a loss, four runs and a win, two runs and a win, and then two runs and a loss. To me, this is just which team's bullpen do I think is going to F it up more? And the answer to that question is the Pirates. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I'm going to take the Pirates getting the runs because apparently they've been playing each other incredibly close, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.